Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. How are we all? Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Faisal. Yes, a flamingo drawing stream. Justice for the rat. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll get around to doing the rat one day. Right, so it's a little bit blurry because it's got nothing to focus on at the moment, but it will get there. But I had a quandary chat. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look at the um, uh, source pick, reference pick, you'll see that you don't actually see the bottom of the flamingo's neck where it joins their body. So I put my line art onto the paper, but we have all this space down here and there's no bottom of the body. So I thought it looked a little bit weird. So I had to do it a second time and actually move it to the bottom of the paper so that it actually oh there we go so it actually looks like it doesn't matter if you can't see the bottom of their body and then you have this bit at the top so that's the one that we're going to be working on because I think that's the one that will work better because I think if we did the one in the middle of the paper then you'd have to trim a lot off the top and a lot off the bottom and then that is a really weird shape to get framed if you want to get it framed. So we're going with this guy. So how are we all? How are we? How are we? Um, you say the flamingo is just a rat's hat this entire time. Well, it's one heck of a hat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. One heck of a hat for them to be carrying around. But, okay, so I'm going to make a start. Oh, let me zoom in on my picture on my iPad so I can see what I'm doing. Right, so we're going to start on this birdie first and go that way. And then we'll come over here and do this one. Uh... Right, okay, I'm just looking at this eye. Now, normally I would do an eye and outline it in this dark line, but this eye doesn't actually have a dark, dark line, so it's going to have to be quite light. So let's make a start. I was like flying high, no pun intended, yesterday with the... Uh, finishing the kingfisher that was just so so awesome just put that shadow in there we do have very black beady eye. There, I've done the eye. Is that enough for today? Yay! <laughs> oh no, hang on, let me put in some ivory first because it's quite light. Jamie, how did you get on with your interview? How did it go? <laughs> yeah thanks for the stream bye uh yeah yeah exactly that's it eyes are done that's the important bit that's enough to put up on youtube right yeah i just do it as like a short or something I don't know if you guys saw, um, I put on uh, the Discord yesterday, I totted it all up and it took us 14 hours to do the Kingfisher 
and 46 different colored pencils which was crazy so i'm going to keep track of this one as well and see how long it takes uh not good at all they terminated the interview before getting onto the next topic was poo poo answering the questions yeah i just messed it oh no oh no oh i'm so sorry had a panic attack then had dinner oh jamie I'm so sorry. I do hope it wasn't me telling <laughs> telling you about my horrible interview where I started panicking and that sort of I don't know. I mean, it happens, right? It happens. You won't be the first person that's happened to. You will not be the last person that's happened to. I know that's not going to make you feel any better. Yeah, sending you lots of love for that, Jamie. That sucks. Um, let me just think, how am I going to do this eye? Looking at the colours around it. So if it makes you feel any better in any way, shape or form, I'm quite nervous about this afternoon. I have got a dental checkup and the hygienist appointment and I hate going. I'll have a good half an hour before the dental appointment sitting in the hygienist chair having someone exploring my mouth with a hook and doing all the lovely stuff that dental hygienists do and that thing where they sort of sandblast your teeth at the end and leave like that grit all over it i mean what is that what is that stuff so half an hour of torture in the dentist chair in the hygienist chair and then i get to have my dental checkup my six monthly dental checkup where my dentist is very definitely a chatty cathy who chats away at you and talks to you and expects you to answer while she's got half a hand in your mouth. (laughs) 
Yeah, come here for dental chat. This is weird. I'm so used to doing eyes with a dark line around them, and this is. Oh, I saw two um, trailers today. Um, what's the best colour for this? I think probably this sort of Venetian red. Let me just sharpen it. I saw two trailers today. One was from Marvel Studios and it was for um, Loki Season 2. And I have to say, it looks just as just as rubbish as season one. It's the same people. It's the same sort of atmosphere. That even the trailer wasn't that exciting. I mean, you've got Owen Wilson in that show, and Owen Wilson can do so much, and yet he is wasted. In Loki, he plays this boring, quiet, bumbling old guy, and he could do so much more. He's quite a comedic actor, and they could have used more of his sort of humour, but no, they didn't go that direction. They've gone boring. So I was not inspired to watch Loki season two. I mean, they even have a line in it where Loki says, but people are going to die. It's like, you do realise Loki is saying this, right? Because he's not saying it like, oh, great, people are going to die, which is what Loki in the Marvel movies, the Avengers movies would think. He's saying it because he doesn't want it to happen. It's like, well, that's not Loki. Loki doesn't care if people die or not. He's the god of mischief, for crying out loud. I mean, all those Avenger movies taught us that Loki doesn't care. So, no, not happy with that. And the other trailer I saw, which looked much more promising, is for a new Predator movie that comes out in 2024. And that looked really good. I was very happy about that. Predator, not Predictor. <laughs> Predator movie, yeah, 2024 is coming out. It almost looked like, at first when I was watching it, I wondered if it was a remake of the original Predator movie with, uh, you know, Schwarzenegger and um, Jesse, what's his name, when they were Dutch and everything, because it literally looks like a group of Marines, covert Marines moving through the jungles of South America. And strangely, in the trailer, they didn't actually show you the Predator, which is like, it's not a secret by now. We know what the Predator looks like, so you could have showed it a little bit. But the trailer did look really, really good. Morning, Haley. How are you? Yeah, I think Disney have done some weird things since they've bought uh, Marvel. Disney have also got the Alien uh, movies. I know they're making an alien TV series, which I am holding out high hopes for. But I always get slightly worried when Disney buy things. Right, um, mm, mm, 
Mm -mm, I need much darker grey. I've got to get away. Go nowhere. This needs sharpening actually because I need a really fine line. I'm sorry when I sharpen my pencils, it makes the camera shake, guys, but it's attached to my table. Have you given, given all the boy could give you? No, I know I've got to. No way I've got to. I've done plenty that way once I loved you. Oh, the boy he gave you. Trying to keep all the pencils that I'm using on the right side of my desk so that I can keep a tally of these ones as well. So I'm going to. Right, so I need white, first of all. This is just a daily mix playlist on Spotify. The owl killed the lady and star. Layer of white. The owl killed the lady and star. And I'm going to use um, cold greys on this rather than the warm greys. Just because the grey here looks a little bit more blue. be very faint at first you might you might be able to see it but I'm building it up the 
I was watching this artist yesterday, guys, on TikTok. I think his name is um, Tevin Drake. And he draws these massive, like, 20 by 20 inch um, flowers with coloured pencils. And he was talking about, I think he'd spent, like, two or three months on his current picture and he was like halfway through and someone asked him how how much would it sell for and he said five figures five figures i about fell out my chair i mean it was amazing absolutely deserved to go for a lot of money but I was not expecting him to say five figures I mean at a minimum then we're talking 10 grand right 10 grand for coloured pencil I mean geez I need to put my prices up right <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> learning how to draw. And I need to practice some more. I mean, I actually, I, I watched it and I, I was sort of like sitting downstairs. I just had my dinner. I was sitting downstairs and I was like resting. And I watched him and I was watching him for about 20, 25 minutes. And then he said that. And I literally went back upstairs and started drawing because I was like, I've got to draw some more. <laughs> I've got to practice some more. Oh, my God. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, congratulations to him, you know. But wow. Right, and now I need to go to the warm grey. Where's the warm grey too? I think we all have those moments where you feel like I'm in the wrong job. I used to feel that way when you used to take your animals to the vets and like a general checkup or for say a cut or something. Oh, my animal's got this strange cut. We did that once with a badger. He had this weird cut that developed on his chest. And we didn't know where it had come from. And it looked quite angry. And so we took it to the vet, took him to the vets and so because it wasn't just like a booster appointment it was an actual appointment you had to pay for so it was like 40 quid just for walking through the door and then you had the examination and the antibiotics and the pain killing injection that was given to him and we walked out of there and we paid like 200 quid and we were like oops so in the wrong job Some weird dark marks here. Right, bit of beige red.
Vets can charge anything because they know people would do anything for their pet. I mean, well, yes, absolutely. I mean, we will do anything for our pets. I mean, like tomorrow with Nick taking Badger and Cookie in for this heart assessment. And it, we were dithering over it yesterday. I'll admit we dithered over it because it's like it's going to cost thousands. I mean, yes, they're insured. But it's going to cost thousands. And what is it going to tell us? Either confirm yes or no whether they've got a heart problem. But also, is it just going to be so they're going to be on medication for the rest of their uh, rest of their lives, or is it just going to be yes, it's a it's a grade two murmur or it's a grade three murmur or however they rate these things, and we'll be aware of it if they ever have to have. An anesthetic we were like you know what's it actually going to do for them is it going to make them better no I hope it doesn't mean it's something that's they're going to require surgery for But I always say when you go to vets and, you know, you pay quite a lot of money at the vets, I always say that's what will happen if if you have to start paying for the NHS, you know. I mean, look at how much people complain over the price of um, prescriptions if you have to pay for your prescription. I mean, it's like, what, £9 an item? And we're like, £9? But people in America would be like, if we could get away with just paying nine pounds for an item, we'd love that, you know. That would be great for them. I need to take that mark out. Oh, I made a website, guys. I made a website. You can check it out. If you do the exclamation point website, the link should pop up. You should go and have a look. It was so... complicated making the damn thing. Yeah, inhalers, like 250 to $350 is just crazy. I mean, James has a couple of inhalers. Uh, it's a very basic website at the moment. But um, eventually I will add extra bits to it. So that you can actually go in with a proper like shopping cart and order properly. So don't don't come at me and say it's basic. <laughs> I'm not used to doing websites, guys. So I've just sort of set up a nice simple one to begin with. take this one out as well and this bit <sighs> right let me just think so this goes here do the sun <laughs> Thank you. 
big up Mr Richardson. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you know, I still remember that moment so clearly. Because I, I drew that salamander on a lily pad in just graphite pencil. And it took me, I can remember, it took me hours and hours. And I was so proud of it when I sort of sat there with it on my desk and he was coming around and he was one of these teachers that made you work in silence like he didn't want to hear noise in his classroom it was silence you drew that was it and occasionally he would get up and he would walk around like a soldier looking over your shoulder and um I could just remember feeling him pause behind me. You know, when you get that feeling, you know someone is looking over your shoulder. And I could feel him standing over me. And I can remember looking up and meeting the eyes of the kids opposite me on the desk as if to say, what's he doing? What's he doing? Does he look, you know, does he look happy? What, what, what's going on? Somebody tell me. <laughs> and he just sort of leaned in over me. And he was a big guy. He was like six foot two. And he just leaned over me and he said, it's good, but I think you should do this. And he told me to colour in the lily pad with green coloured pencils and to use ink, uh, a black ink pen to bring out the, it was a spotted salamander. And he says it would look so much better. And I didn't believe him. But I did it because he told me to do it. And oh my God, the end result, it was so, it really was powerful, the end result. It was like it brought a completely different element to that picture and I was amazed. Did I use ink pen ever again? No. <laughs> because I was comfy with my pencils. But I did it for that piece because he told me to. God, you got to that section quick. <laughs> In that about me section, I was like, you know, I mentioned David Attenborough and um, David Bellamy. And I said, you know, I, I grew up watching those and I grew up watching Take Heart. I really wanted to say that I also grew up watching Rolf Harris because he did a lot of art. I thought, I can't write about him on there, can I? That would have been a bit... Oh, dear. Questionable. It would have been a questionable thing to have put in my about me section, I think.
over there. Let's do a little bit of coral. Use 12 colors already. Um, right, I think I need a sort of it's like a sort of dirty orangey sort of color. Maybe this terracotta might might work. Thank you for your contribution, Jamie. And oh, hydrate. Okay, I have coffee. Grab my coffee. Everybody have a drink. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me my coffee is just going on the cold side. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Faisal. When I went on to, um, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Um, Discord, yesterday, there was a, a thing called, um, in their activities, called Colour Together. And it was something that you were sort of opened up on your voice channel. And it says it's something you can do with your followers where you invite them to join you at a certain time and you do this um it's almost like a coloring book on the screen where you literally click on the colors and it's like a paint by numbers thing and so you click on the corresponding nu number to fill in these pictures i thought that might be a fun thing to do one day so if you're up for it let me know and i'll set it up i'll create a time and hang out on discord and just chat Ooh, let's do it okie dokie i will set aside a choice of dates then and we'll all decide on what is a, a good time and date for most people to sort of join in. Yeah, okay, cool.
like an orange color. a little bit of ivory Sort of like um mm, like a russety kind of red sanguine gonna be the right colour maybe I like that there's a red called sanguine because you get that sanguinate or exsanguinate you know where you bleed out you think it'd be a really strong red but it's not it's more like a like a muddy red you think sanguine would be like a bright red because of the association with the blood or is that just my dark mind maybe who knows Right, I need What's this one goes back here.
taking a little bit of shape. Uh, let's use this grey actually. Taking shape, the beak. It's, uh... So I'm trying to think, this bit here is quite like skin and flesh. And then it sort of turns into this harder substance, which is the beak. Which is obviously going to be smoother. So we want this rough texture here and then smooth texture here. So I'm just sort of trying to be aware of the two different uh, properties that's on this beak. All right, I need like a stone, like a brown. are very unnecessary right Let's... <sighs> all 
Right, okay. Um, where is my page? So what did you guys think to the website? Um, I've tried to keep it very sort of, um, you know, just classic white colours and I think the highlight colour is like a, a rose pink. I did think about making my highlight colour purple, but it didn't go very nicely with the plain white because I want it to stay, uh, to stay sort of like a classic look. So that as time goes by, I don't have to change a lot. I think you can just keep it quite nice and simple. And like I say, classic with just a white background. And the rose pink was a nice sort of highlight colour to have. I mean, yes, it's a basic website, but... Was it easy to sort of get a, did you find that it's easy just to sort of get around? You can find out the most pertinent information from it. I got Becca to look at it for me and she said it was all right. So, well, she said it was good. I'd like your guys' opinion. If you've got any suggestions of something that you think is maybe missing, then I can always include it later. Uh, like it did you not want a link to buy the art or is it an email you directly thing um yeah i think it's more of um on the contact me page i've put if you want to purchase then contact me through through that page to be honest the behind the scenes stuff on the site to set up the shop page it required so much information and it was all written in what I would call legal speak. And I didn't understand half of it. So I didn't, I just didn't understand what half of it meant or what they were asking me to do. So I will, I will look at it again later so that people can actually buy things, put it in their basket and then, you know, do it that way. But yeah, the Derek pick is small. Yeah. I need to retake his picture, I think. I want to place it up. Oh, actually, no, let's, let's have this as a base here as well. against the cold Let's pick up George Yeah, you look a bit daft Not disappointed Hey, now you with a sad face Come up to my place Knit it up Right, 
I feel like I need to just put in a couple of these little veiny marks. Like grey wrinkles. Sad face, come up to my place and dig it up. Where's that cold grey? I like erasure. You don't hear erasure enough on the radio. <sighs> also, now far be it from a man who left school with no GCSEs to question an English teacher. So I could be wrong, but can I just run a sentence by you? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And then I want to tell you a story about something you've just said. But yeah, go on. Is it something I wrote? <laughs> Is it something what I wrote? I was thrilled beyond imagining that everyone who went in his office could see my work sat behind him. Did you mean beyond thrilled? No, I was thrilled beyond imagining. So it means that, yes, I'm thrilled, but you can't imagine how thrilled I was because it's beyond imagining. I mean, you can write it the other way, beyond thrilled, I, want, I guess, if you want, but no, mine still stands, it's fine. How dare you? <laughs> No, it's fine. Um, but something you just said. I left school with no GCSEs. I didn't take any. <laughs> You'll see yourself out. <laughs> no, I didn't take any GCSEs either. I was all set up to do my GCSEs. <laughs> Vanish. <laughs> no, stay. Stay, because I want you to listen. Um... I left school without taking any GCSEs whatsoever. We were the first year to take these new um, exams called GCSEs because, you know, before that it was called something else. And um, it was more important to my parents who had told me for years and years that education meant nothing, that... Um, you see all these people who stay in education and go to university and get degrees and then they can't get a job and that education basically meant nothing. That's what my that's what my parents told me. And they were very working class, very poor, and they needed me to be bringing money in. And so I left school at 15 before I turned 16, before I got my GCSEs and they got me a job in a factory and 
it was only on a YTS scheme, which was a, a youth training scheme, I think that stands for. And I was working 40 hours a week in this factory when all my friends were sat at school doing their GCSEs and getting results. And I sat in a sweaty factory making school uniforms, of all things, 40 hours a week and getting paid £40 um, on this YTS. And I had to give 30 of that to my mum for board money, you know, to pay for my food and living in the house and things like that. So I worked 40 hour a week for 10 quid, basically. But uh, obviously, as I, uh, once I met Nick, and you know, we got married and we had kids, I realised I wanted to get my education that I didn't have before, because it meant something to me. And I like learning new things anyway. And so I did study at home courses and got my uh, GCSE in maths and English and um, sat my exams at a school with a load of teenagers. <laughs> I went in as an adult and had to sit there and take my maths and English exam at a school local to me. I arranged, you have to pay, obviously you have to pay to sit your GCSEs and then I got a degree with the Open University um, and got my education as an adult so it's never too late you can set your mind to whatever you want to do so there we go lecture over <laughs> lecture over right Okay, so it's 10.30 just gone. So I think we'll leave it there today. Um, I'm quite happy with actually how much we've got done because I thought I was just going to get the eye and this part of the beak. So the fact that we've started up here as well is good. So anyway, there we go. Thank you for joining me today, peeps. Can I just say if there's anybody watching this not live, if you're watching it in the VOD and would like to follow me, I am just seven followers away from 100. Um, I'd really like to get to 100. That would be great for me. Thank you very much. If you want to help me out. Um, so thank you for joining me. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. There will be a stream tomorrow because Nick is taking the cats to the vets on his own. So, oh, thanks, Faisal. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Yes, follow her. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, Hayley. Lots of love, guys. You take care. Bye.